Thank you.
Thank you.
You have dialed into here and there along the echo, a guide to the echo river for drifters and pilgrims. This guide is a public service provided by the Bureau of Secret Tourism. menu of our resources, press 1. If you have an extension to dial, press 9. For more information about our organization, press 3. If you don't remember dialing this number at all, press 5. To hear these options again, press 0. The Bureau of Secret Tourism is supported by a generous population of river creatures whom I fix up and grill as necessary. I am environmentally minded, and I believe all small water creature, crab or frog. Now you know that sleep is all around us like a muggy. Tranquil fog, something like that. It's easier to come up with these songs when I'm hungry in a sort of transcendental fasting state, but I've actually just had breakfast. A debt of gratitude is also owed to the Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces, who unselfishly and unknowingly donates this here telephone line for the purpose of this here informational resource. You can always find the latest secret tourism literature in any of our unmarked kiosks or any other old place it happens to lay. That's all I have to say about that. Hey, do me a favor. When you get a chance, call us back at extension 1928. You can press zero now to go back to the main menu. You can press zero now to go back to the main menu. You can press zero now. Welcome home. For historical sites along the Echo River, press 1. For a guide to the river's flora and fauna, press 2. For help identifying an unfamiliar sound, press 3. If you're holding a snake right now, press 4. To hear these options again, press 0. For a catalog of subterranean bird song, press 1. For help identifying something that's happening in the dark, press 2. If you are hearing organ music, press 3. The wet, rocky contours of the Echo River make for sometimes baffling reverberations that turn mundane sounds into weird, rattling symphonies, like that. It can be a challenge to pick through the clamor and recognize even something as simple as water dropping in a metal bucket, especially in the dark. Here are some examples. When you hear a sound you want to know more about, just press one. At any time, you can press five to stop. And that was a canoe tipping over from several miles away.
Subterranean Bird Song, press 1. For help identifying something that's happening in the dark, press 2. If you are hearing organ music, press 3. To return to the main menu, press 5. To hear these options again, Welcome home. For historical sites along the Echo River, press 1. For a guide to the river's flora and fauna, press 2. For help identifying an unfamiliar sound, press 3. If you're holding a snake right now, press 4. So, you're probably not in any danger, but why are you holding that snake? If you're involved in an exchange of some kind, press 1. Take another look at your snake. Not a bad snake, is it? Yeah, it's really nice. You got a good one. Can you bear to see it go? What's the other party bringing to this here swap? Press 1 if you still plan to go through with the trade. Press 2 if you're having second thoughts. Yeah, well, you're probably right. All right. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work on this here snake situation. What you're going for is a kind of gestural conversation. Don't worry. I'll lead you two through it. Give that snake a name and look her right in the eyes and say her name. I'm going to go with Delia for the purpose of demonstration, but you pick a suitable name. Try to follow along with me here to the best of your ability. Delia, take it easy now. What if all of this is just a reflection of a reflection? Now hold the silence while she processes that metaphysical curveball. Okay, what's Delia up to now? If she's staring right back at you, press 1. If she's wriggling around, press 2. And if she's just kind of limp, press 3. Well, your snake may be asleep. It happens. You've got to wake her up gently now. Whisper her something pleasant. Tell her why she wants to wake up. I mean, really convince her. Oh, wait. All right, where are we at? If the snake is breathing heavily, press 1. If she's curled around your forearm, press 2. If her tongue is extended, press 3. You just point your tongue right back at her. If hers moves left, yours moves right, and so on. Maintain eye contact so she knows you're not making fun of her. There you go. Delia should be in a kind of a calm, thoughtful state now, so you can move on. So put that snake in some grass or something. Let Delia be free like a snake should. And go ahead and wash your hands if you care to. <laughs> I would. Welcome home. For historical sites along the Echo River, press 1. For a guide to the river. Well, if you're dialed into this here informational resource, then you're a certain kind of beachcombing, bat-calling sightseer. So let's take a driftwood inventory. For a diver's guide to underwater. Perhaps it's the violent displacement of natural gases. Perhaps the river tilts to face the moon, slowly changing the angle of its surface over time. Some sailors blame corked rocks. Whatever the geological explanation, the islands of the Echo River are mostly transient rising and diving on some inscrutable schedule. The following islands are presently underwater. The entire seven plus or minus two islands 
archipelago. Fish jaw coral. The undefinable island. Beton island. This list is current as of now. For a diver's guide to underwater islands, press one. For forgotten places, press two. For restless places, for the cluttered place, press one. For the flooding place, press two. For a list of the places where people can't sleep, press three. People can't sleep in the wet grass or on the bridges of New Königsberg. They can't sleep anywhere near Lake Letha because it's too large. Nobody can sleep with their toes in the river because it's too cold. People can't sleep where I sleep because I'm all knees and elbows and anyway, there isn't enough room for both of us. I'm not sure if anyone can sleep on the deck of the Mucky Mammoth, but I'm certain they can't sleep on the trash barge because of the smell. If you have anything to add, please call us back with extension 7360. For a diver's guide to underwater islands, for a diver's guide to underwater islands, press 1. For forgotten places, press 2. For restless places, press 3. For what little we know of the iron pariah, press four. For food and drink recommendations, press five. To return to the main menu, welcome for historical sites along the Echo River, press one. For a guide to the river's flora and fauna, press two. For help identifying for historical sites along the Echo River, press 1. For a guide to the river's flora and For historical sites along the Echo River, press 1. For a guide to the river's flora and fauna. For different types of water, press 1. For the language of bats, press 2. For insect interaction, many find learning the language of bats to be intimidating but it's really pretty straightforward here let's try some useful phrases repeat after here's how you say i don't know where i am okay here's how you could ask haven't we met before? Great. And here's how you say, Sorry, I must have left it in the boat. Now, a very useful phrase. It's a shame we didn't record that. Every conversation has to end. So here's how to say, I will write that down in case I forget it later. For different types of water, press 1. For the language of bats, press 2. For insect interactions, press 3. To return to the main menu, press 5. To hear these options again, press 0. For different types of water, press 1. For the language of bats, press 2. For insect... The Echo River is best known for its plentiful waters. Not their volume, but their diversity. 
There's surface water, deep water, big water, and small water. Water that moves quickly. Slower water. Water in a cup. There's the water you know about, the water you don't know about, and the water you only assume exists due to indirect evidence like a rumbling sound behind the rock. Cool water, but also warm, and even warmer. Water that gets things clean. Water that only makes things dirtier. Water's both soft and hard. Water in living bodies. If you come across any other kind of water, be very careful. Call us back and dial extension 0464 just to be safe. For different types of water, for different types of water, press 1. For the language of bats, press 2. For insect interactions, press 3. To return to the main menu, welcome home. For historical sites along the Echo River, press 1. For a guide to the river's flora and fauna, press 2. For help identifying an unfamiliar sound, press 3. If you're holding a snake right now, press 4. <laughs>